I straight up realized I was not recording. So taking a gelish foundation, my nails are already prepped. I did not cut them down um, to do these jelly tips because they are super long jelly tips. So I am just pushing this base coat into my nail, okay, and I'm going to cure. Repeating this process, you notice I like to touch down right before the cuticle area, so I probably leave one third away from that cuticle area, and that kind of allows me to scrub it into that back third while pushing it towards, see it kind of like wipe it off and then I'm scrubbing it back towards that cuticle area. And for me, that gives me the best adhesion. All right, so these are the jelly tips I am going to use. They are the Coffin Long. Sorry, I had to move my lamp. So I am going to size them. Okay. And I'm going to show you how I do size them, don't worry. Perfect. All right, so this is a size zero, and what I do is I put it on my nail, make sure it gets pretty flush, but the key is you want the sidewalls here to be flush. Now, it shifted obviously, but this will be flush, and then these guys have a beautiful arch to it, so I will fill that with gel. So this is what I am going to use, the 4-in-1 base coat. All right, so I etched the inside and then I cleaned it out. So you can see like this part shiny down here, but that part is not. Okay, so I am going to apply this. And I do have a gooseneck next to me. Um, I have my phone set up to try to capture that. So I'm hoping that you are able to see it. Now, this one obviously has quite a bit of an arch and this one is very runny. If you aren't good with runny gels, this may be problematic for you, but just figure out what kind of gel you like to use. So I like to place it down, and then what I do is force it to the top. And there was quite a bit of spillage on this guy. Just gonna run my towel under there. And yeah, <laughs> this is real life. Put in a little bit extra there. Now, I don't want to cure this on my skin, but I think a little bit is going to get on there. I'm 
I'm just wiping just the pieces off that I think I did get some in this corner, but like I said, this is a runnier gel. So if you are not used to that, which I sort of am, but not too ready for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get this on camera here. That was actually quite a bit. Well, hardly any came out on that one, so I guess I'm getting better. Now, I've only done these a handful of times. I am not a pro by any stretch of the imagination. So I do know less is more. Of course, I just have a whole bunch of dust. Okay. I feel like the more you do it, the more you get a hang of it. Now the pinky, I'm going to use substantially less. Okay, now I'm gonna give it a full cure. All right, let's bring you in. And I did get some back there, but I'm gonna show you how I like to get those. Move that out of the way. So first, I like to take this guy, and this one is a super fine, like I think this might be extra fine, and I like to go like that, forward and back, depending on your direction.
flipping it in reverse for me. going to dust them off and then I'm also going to buff them and buffing them actually allows me one to see if I have missed anything like as far as the fixing of the nail it's really hard to see it when it is super clear in my opinion Taking my cleanser, getting it nice and in there. And I'm going to have to hit the underside as well. And so I should state in my cleanser, I also use a little bit of acetone and acetone is going to melt these tips, which for me is what I want. So I'm wanting them to be rough. I mean like still smooth, but you know what I mean? Like I want them to have texture, otherwise they will not take any color or the color will like peel right off. So that is why I, I know my pinky just likes to hang out there. That is why I like to use my cleanser. I have a flat top here. Pulling my cuticle back. See, just flakes away. Let's say you, doesn't it look so weird with like this on? So I have these two colors from Bellavina. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do this guy. Oh, this is, I should have said that, 655, which is a beautiful, beautiful seafoam green, and I'm obsessed with that. Look at that coverage. It just is amazing. So I like to get most of the gel polish off. So essentially I do, you know, the front, would you say two thirds, maybe even more than that because we're on a longer nail. And I come down and I like to just push down and come around. Now the one thing you have to remember, let's say you didn't do a perfect application, what you could do is backfill the gel. So let's say you put your tip on and it's a little bit too far out, meaning you kind of have a gap towards your cuticle, fill it in with some gel, so file down the tip area that might look a little wonky and just fill that in. And be a little bit neater than I am because apparently I can't be very neat. Look at that! I'm obsessed. Okay, going to repeat the process on all of the nails and I'm probably going to add some glitter. I don't know on which nails yet, but ooh. Battle the fluff. So I'm just going to paint them all. Hey Google, what time is it?
I'm gonna take some gold and put it right on the nail. Bella Vina's matte top coat and they're glossy. I'm going to do matte over the plain nails because I'm going to go over with the striping colors. Okay, for my matte, I like to give it a second. That's probably not in focus. I like to give it a second before curing. So a few more seconds. All right, so I'm going to do paint these mattes before I paint the glossy ones again. That will give me the time I need for these to settle. Yes, if you hold these guns on, it's not the end of the world. Again, this is the glossy. All right, so I have these bad boys, 11, one, and 10. I will link the kit um, that I got below. I do have their other one as well, but I kind of want some fun, bright colors, especially because these ones are actually darker than what's on my nails, so I figure it'd be good. I know these are no wipe top coat, but I don't know, just out of habit. All right, I'm taking 10 and going to do some different thicknesses so it's kind of more abstract. Now I did not cure that because I actually don't mind if they mix. Okay, coming back in, and I think I'm gonna sandwich this one. <laughs> Since 10 is a little bit more jelly than 11, I'm just running back over it real quick. I really just wanted a random pattern and now I'm going to tighten it. Coming back in with 10. Again, there's no rhyme or reason why I'm doing each of the ones where I'm doing it. This is literally a random pattern. And honestly, I hope my lights aren't blowing this out. because that other polish is so neon. So I have this glitter. 
And to be honest, I want to add some of it. And I think I want to mattify everything. So I'm going to take a little bit of gelish foundation here. And I'm just placing it down. So again, just taking that mat and going over the whole design because I think I want this to be all matte. All right, let me turn this down. I can't tell if you guys can see it. So these are the nails. I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. I think I am getting a little bit better at the a prey type nails and I actually really like this glitter on here. I think it did a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.